Throughout its long existence, Earth has collided with many nearby objects. Some of them reached its surface, while others exploded when passing through the atmosphere. Like volcanoes, asteroid impacts have been shaping the Earth's surface for many years in a row. Till this very day, thousands of cosmic bodies bombard our planet's atmosphere every year, with only a few hundred surviving the impact. Large asteroids, capable of triggering a global environmental change, fall on average once every 100,000 years, and similar-sized comets about once every 500,000 years, leaving horrific consequences in their wake. Learn about how asteroids have changed dramatically the course of Earth's history, transforming our blue planet into a unique ecosystem. Asteroids that changed the Earth's history. You will be surprised to know that a few large asteroids and comets have brought about some global catastrophic changes by colliding with our planet. Asteroids range in size from less than one kilometer to nearly 800 kilometers and are made of rock or metal. Most asteroids in our solar system can be found in the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter. Upon entering the atmosphere, these large stones experience major air friction heating, leaving a luminous trail in the sky called a meteor. Sometimes, one asteroid can bump into another. In this case, small pieces can break off. These pieces are called meteoroids. If a meteoroid comes close enough to Earth and enters its atmosphere, it turns into a meteor, a streak of light in the sky. When a meteoroid hits the Earth, it is called a meteorite. Massive impacts leave craters, and the largest ones could cause global changes in the atmosphere, hydrosphere, and biosphere. Impact craters on Earth indicate that our planet has been exposed to asteroids since the time it was formed, some 4.5 billion years ago. Once every few million years, an object appears large enough to pose a threat to life as we know it. Let's find out about the most significant collisions, starting from the earliest ones at the dawn of the solar system and those that could have wiped out the dinosaurs from the face of our planet. A crater about 500 kilometers across was discovered in the Wilkesland area in East Antarctica, south of Australia. Based on satellite measurements of gravitational fluctuations, it is assumed that the crater is about 250 million years old. This coincides with the largest mass Permian-Triassic extinction that destroyed 90% of life on Earth. Scientists believe that it was caused by the meteorite impact that left a crater in Wilkesland. In this scenario, the impact thinned the Earth's crust and triggered violent volcanic eruptions. The size and location of the crater also indicates that the impact could have caused the supercontinent Gondwana to collapse, creating a tectonic fault that propelled Australia northward. The Wilkesland gravity anomaly in the Pacific sector of East Antarctica is about 510 kilometers in diameter and is accompanied by ice streams and a chaotically disturbed region of the continental ice sheet. This part of the Wilkes subglacial basin is one of the most prominent regional negative geoids and associated gravity anomalies of the Antarctic continent. The scientists used gravity fluctuations measured by NASA's gray satellites to peer beneath Antarctica's icy surface and found a 320-kilometer-wide plug of mantle material a mass concentration, or mass con in geological parlance, that had risen up into the Earth's crust. Additional details of the anomalies captured by the GRACE mission are clearly visible when comparing the pre-GRACE gravity field in Figure 1a with the GRACE gravity field in Figure 1b. Figure 1b also shows Sudbury, Chicxulub, Wilkesland, and Vredefort which is the largest confirmed asteroid crater in the world. The latter will be discussed further. About two billion years ago, 
an asteroid measuring at least 10 kilometers across hurtled toward Earth. The impact occurred southwest of what is now Johannesburg, South Africa, and temporarily made a 40 kilometer deep and 100 kilometer wide dent in the surface. Almost immediately after impact, the crater widened and shallowed as the rock below started to rebound and the walls collapsed. The world's oldest and largest known impact structure was formed. Scientists estimate that when the rebound and collapse ceased, Vrita Fort Crater measured somewhere between 180 and 300 kilometers wide. The tectonic uplift at the center of the impact was so strong that a 25-kilometer section of the Earth's crust was turned on its end, making a dome-like formation. About 100 species of plants grow, and over 70 species of butterflies and 300 bird species live inside the dome. Some scientists believe that the devastating global impact of the Vrita Fort event has changed the course of evolution. The various layers of upturned rock eroded at different rates and produced the concentric pattern still visible today. The Vrita Fort asteroid crater is one of the rare places on Earth with several rings that indicate a collision. The crater's unusual layered impact could help identify other more ancient craters, such as the Chicxulub crater in Mexico, which we'll talk about right now. Prior to crashing into Earth, the asteroid that killed the dinosaurs 66 million years ago orbited the Sun with other asteroids in the main asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter. This large object has an estimated width of 9.6 kilometers and produced a crater in Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula that spans 145 kilometers. After its sudden contact with Earth, the asteroid wiped out not only the dinosaurs, but around 75% of the planet's animal species. It is widely accepted that this explosive force was responsible for the mass extinction that ended the Mesozoic era. Based on the result of a new study, the researchers say that the probability of the mass extinction occurring was only 13%. This is because the catastrophic chain of events could have only occurred if the asteroid had hit the hydrocarbon-rich areas occupying approximately 13% of Earth's surface. Thus, this exact collision site could have changed the history of life on Earth. Geologists also discovered that the Chicxulub impactor had a composition similar to modern carbonaceous chondrites. These are dark, porous, and carbon-containing rocks that can also be found on Earth. The researchers analyzed how asteroids farthest from the Sun would have evolved over hundreds of millions of years. One aim was to see where the bigger asteroids lie today. By looking at wide timescales of the Chicxulub asteroid, the scientists could predict that a six-mile asteroid is likely to come into contact with Earth once every 250 million years. Their model showed almost 50% of these significant impactors to be of the same carbonaceous chondrite composition. The team's simulations can, for the first time, reproduce the orbits of large asteroids on the verge of approaching Earth. This research will tell us where other large impactors from Earth's deep past might have originated. But not all asteroids were as destructive. Thanks to some of them, people have discovered rich mineral deposits. Want to know more? Then fast forward to 1.8 billion years ago to lands near Thunder Bay, Ontario and northern Minnesota. It is believed that a 10 to 16 kilometer wide meteorite came from space and hit the Earth in the area known today as the city of Sudbury in Canada. At the same time, an impact crater 250 kilometers wide was formed, which is the second largest known crater on our planet. Ever since miners discovered rich deposits of copper, nickel, palladium, and other valuable metals there in the 1880s, 
scientists have wondered how the giant hole in the Earth came into existence. Scientists hypothesized that the crater was caused by the impact because of the characteristic shock features, such as rock fragments cemented together and shatter cones, or a conical repeating structure of striations in the rock. Subsequent geological processes have deformed the crater into its present oval shape. But what will surprise you most of all is one of the impact products such as magma. Most collisions don't produce much magma. However, it appears that there was enough eruption force to generate hundreds of cubic kilometers of magma in Sudbury. Most of this magma remained in the ground and formed what we call a large igneous intrusion. As of today, this is the only deposit of this type to occur on Earth. Even more interesting facts about the stars, planets, and space mysteries are coming your way. Let us know in the comments what place on Earth you think is the most mysterious. And also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like this video so that we can see how many space lovers are out there.